he came to the sheep pens along the way, a cave was there. And Saul went in to relieve himself, and David and his men were far back in the cave. The men said, This is the day the Lord spoke of, when he said to you, I will give your enemy into your hands for you to deal with as you wish. Then David crept up unnoticed and cut off a corner of Saul's robe. We'll stop right there for a minute. The word of the Lord is blessed. Amen. 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 To title this message, the title of it, is Progress Under Pressure. Progress under pressure. This is Dad, you hit it on the head when you prayed this afternoon because this message is preached more for me. Because these past seven days have been trying. I, I've always been transparent in my ministry because I feel like if I tell you, then maybe someone can identify and be blessed as well. Amen? Amen. This past seven days have been really trying for me. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. My faith was tested. My, um, in case you all who aren't ministers don't know, preachers get down. Yeah. Preachers get weak. Yeah. Preachers get mad. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That God. Oh. Let's go yeah. ahead and be honest and be real. You know, you know some people tend to put the minister on a pedestal box and say, you know, you're not supposed to feel like that. So I'm here to tell you this week, I was a little ticked with my creator. I had an issue with God and Jesus and Gabriel and them and everybody up there walking on streets of gold while I'm down here falling in the pothole. And I was really upset. So my faith was tested. And then when God brought this scripture to me and I began to write out my message, I began to see what it means the best preachers are preached to you. Because this is a preach to me. How do you make progress under pressure? Well, our life is a mess. A downright trip. A journey, an adventure, an excursion, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Has anybody ever looked at their life and said, how did I get here when I used to be there. How did I get here? How did I lose everything? Now you didn't call me for this. How my pockets in? And I work every day. How do my kids need food? and I have nothing to give them. How did I go from the person that's always lending money to the person that needs to borrow it? And everybody that I lend it to doesn't have it to give back to me. Chris, how did I get here? I used to be there. I used to go out to eat whenever I felt like it at the nice restaurant with the cloth net. Now we, $3 a kid, at the value menu window at your nearest fast food restaurant. Mm -hmm. And my $3 is in quarters because I had to scrape it out from under my car. I mean, my car seat. How I get here? Consider Dave. How did he get there? How did he wind up in that cave? Come on, we talking about David. This is not David who slept with Bathsheba and did all the wrong. We're talking about the young man mm -hmm. who went from sheep herder to anointed to be king, giant slave. He in the palace playing. He, the minister of music for the king. Gets no greater than that. Come on, I'm in the palace. It's air conditioning in here. Y'all got a fame. How'd David get there in that cave? Come on, he was a giant slave. They were singing songs about David. Saul has killed his thousands. Oh, but David he killed his tens of thousands. This is David. How did David get from he, there to here? That's pressure. You have nothing. 